Hey YouTube, N107 here, coming at you today with Mass Effect Andromeda on the Xbox Series X versus the Xbox One X. Which console packs the biggest punch? Well, it all depends. First, both deliver about the same resolution because it is locked. We'll talk about that in this video. And then the FPS, it is locked. But there are rumors of a 60 FPS auto update coming to Xbox Series X and Series S that will make back compatible titles, which the Xbox One version of Mass Effect Andromeda, the only version really besides, you know, the other consoles and PC out there, will technically fall under that. And so you might be looking at higher FPS on this game. But anyway, besides that, even without that auto update, if you played this game before or never played it, I think now is a perfect time to come over and give it another chance or even try it out for the first time. Through the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you can get that. And if your game is not on the playlist that will be showing up throughout this video, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. One, what you think about Mass Effect Andromeda and why you stopped playing it or why you kept playing it. And then let me know what game is not on the playlist that you would like me to test, and I'll get testing down for you. Wow. Anyway, without further ado, let's get down to it. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game installed in internal drive, and by the way, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty good. The video feed is bigger, so you're gonna be able to see more of the game. Uh, this is probably as much as I can stretch it before it starts distorting the image uh, and lowering the quality of the video. But let me know what you think. I appreciate your guys' comments in the comment section. Uh, thanks for the tips and advice on how to make the videos better. As you can see, so here we go, an Xbox Series X versus a One X. Andromeda uh, is built on the Frostbite engine, which is what the Battlefield series is built on and whatnot. Uh, and there's some similarities when it comes to loading. It takes a while. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you're looking at less than a minute on the Xbox Series X and over a minute on the Xbox One X. Uh, and this carries over to loading between worlds and whatnot. It definitely feels a lot smoother and I appreciate that on the current gen consoles or next gen, whichever way you want to call them. Uh, it's just the power of an SSD. So there's a lot of things that could happen to this game though and the trilogy as a whole. Uh, so first, let me give it to you so you can digest it. Uh, first, we might be getting a 60 FPS upgrade. This game, I'll show you the frame graph in just a little bit and you'll see how it works with the 30 FPS. But it is sadly limited to 30 FPS. The Series X and the One X, the way they differ is pretty much just in loading time. And if I remember correctly, that's it. You might get a bit more stable FPS uh, in some circumstances, but for the most part, you're getting the locked 1800 or 1800 P uh, checkerboarded all the way to 4k so it's not a native 4k but it looks pretty darn sharp the other thing that I mentioned similar to Star Wars Battlefront 2 definitely invite you to check out my video on that uh, the the shadows are linked or bound to the resolution so the quality of them goes up based on resolution and so you're looking at nicer shadows on the Xbox Series X and One X compared to the other consoles, even the Series S. The thing is, if you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and hit a like along the way so you get notified whenever I release this kind of videos and the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. As you saw there, we had some screen tearing happening on the Xbox One X, but it's not often. The game runs pretty stable, at least comparatively to when it first came out, it's day and night. Uh, but so here's the thing. You don't need VRR or FreeSync to really enjoy this title. It plays pretty smooth without that, but it definitely helps a little bit when you turn it on. The thing is, the Series X and the Series S are supposed to be able to run this game, hopefully, at 60 FPS come sometime this year. There's rumors of an Xbox update that's gonna make it so the backwards compatible titles of the Series S and X get to run at 60 FPS without the developer updating the game, which is good because this game, you know, it didn't turn out that well. So people are definitely not going to update this game to a Series X, Series S optimized update. Uh, but definitely I, I, I'm expecting that update and I hope it'll bump it up to 60. But the thing is, let me know in the comment section below why you stopped playing this game or why you don't want to try it. In my opinion, this is the best time to give it another chance uh, while we wait for the Mass Effect uh, Legendary Edition or, you know, instead of revisiting the trilogy. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you're gonna do. Uh, me personally, I stopped playing this game because I was more into multiplayer games when it first came out. 
so I didn't get to finish it or enjoy it and now I'm loving it so far. The story, I definitely feel a little disconnected from compared to the trilogy original, but so far it's good, but I'll let you know my thoughts on it on social medias and you let me know yours. Uh, so you're looking at 30 FPS here, like I said earlier, it's pretty stable. Hopefully we'll get to 60. If you want me to test out uh, this game when it does release that update, if it ever does, let me know in the comment section below and I'll revisit this game um, with the 60 FPS update. Uh, but by the way, before I go, Streaming Live Academy and I would like to invite you to come over to our website, StreamingLiveAcademy.com, so you can sign up for a free content creation PDF where you can learn how to improve or start your hobby, career, or, well, yeah, career or hobby on content creation. Uh, but besides that, that's all I got to tell you. Uh, hopefully, uh, definitely I would say the Xbox One X and the Series X are the best version of this game. Uh, the Series S is pretty much it's a little too blurry for my taste, but the loading times kind of don't justify how blurry it looks. Uh, but hopefully we'll see that update with bigger resolution and the 16 time isotropic filtering that the Xbox One X has and the Series X will be auto applied to the Series S version. But I'll keep you posted on that and stay on my channel if you want to learn about that when it comes out. Until next time, peace.